How's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm going to be doing a rematch game with D5T7. He is a subscriber of my channel, and I already played him, but I'm going to be playing him one more time uh, just for a rematch game. He wanted to uh, play me again, so uh, I welcome that. And uh, here we are checking out his lineup. I think it's very, I think it's improved after uh, the uh, last time we played. If you look back at that game, I think it's called the first subscriber game I played. And uh, yeah, you know, he's definitely got a, a fairly okay team. I think our team is better. I think, as you saw earlier, I think I had a 91 or 90 overall team. He had an 88. So, you know, we're going to go into this game trying to trying to come out with a victory as usual. You know, uh, we want to see what he has going. <coughs> we want to see what he's working with offensively and defensively. Right out of the bat, though, uh, he really was impressive uh, to me. He kind of ran an offense that I found similar to... Um, uh, a YouTuber named Dreamkillers. He's a member of Mad Mastermind, and that was, and I thought his offense was pretty impressive, to be honest. Oh, also for this video, I'm gonna be uh, using some background music, so hopefully, uh, it, it helps the video quality out a little bit, makes it a little bit more entertaining. I, I, I know I'm Maverick and uh, GS and a lot of YouTubers use it, so I kind of wanted to try it out. Uh, so if you have any comments about that, let me know. But right off the bat, this guy's offense, uh, D5 T7 really good I liked it a lot it was super effective he's going under center every time running some 0-1 traps you know I started spreading the line because I wanted to stop his outside rounds as rolls but he was just going inside and destroying me after that with the 0-1 trap right here you see him going to a, a little um, smoke screen route which I thought was kind of odd because I think he might have saw my guy go there but maybe my guy wasn't uh, in a position where it looked like he was gonna go to the flat but he did go to the flat and we were able to take that to the house for an early touchdown and we do get ball at half, so a really good start defensively for us, even though he was able to move the ball very effectively down the field. So we got to get something going defense to um, to stop this guy from uh, from going down the field again and this time getting a touchdown. So right here we get off the block and we're able to st slow him down for, I think, two-yard gain, maybe one-yard gain, or no gain, it looks like. Right here we send some pressure. We do get the sack. So we're in a huge third and 18 right here, and he just chucks it up. And we are able to come away with the interception. And TJ McDonald's a monster, man. He was so cheap. Uh, I think um, two or one or two weeks ago, he was only like 3K or 4K. It was insane on PS4 at least. And I was able to get him. And he's just been a beast for me. Like he's got good hit power. He's got great speed. He's got good height. And he's got uh, he's got the jumping ability and good hands. So he's been super effective for me right here. We're trying to do it on a screenplay. Uh, I'm still using the Philadelphia offense right here, as you can see the triple option. Uh, I actually did move to the San Francisco 49ers offense, and I, I really like it. I kind of wanted to go a little bit more under center, actually, thanks to uh, D5T7. He kind of uh, inspired me to try out the uh, under center stuff. I kind of wanted to make my own unique scheme uh, because I did kind of realize that a lot of people do run Philly, and I don't really like running, being the same as everybody else, but uh, it was really fun while it lasted running the Eagles. I did end up winning, actually, on all Madden first string at Super Bowl, so that was nice. And we are able to drive down the field right now and get the touchdown. So we are up 14-0. We do get ball in half. We're going to try and hold them to nothing right here and get the ball back. May, uh, at least, at the very least, stop them from scoring a touchdown. But uh, at the most, maybe we can get another, get a possession back and score some points. Right here, he's running the football, not getting anything. We're able to stop that after a loss of one. He was running a lot of hurry up, actually. I'm not sure if he was frustrated or if he saw something he liked. But he was running a lot of hurry up this game. And uh, that was interesting. I usually have fairly good success against Furia. Right here, we're able to come away with the user interception. Really nice. Clay Matthews, 93 overall. Definitely one of the best middle, line middle linebackers in the game. He's got great speed. He's got good acceleration. He's got height. He's got hit power. He's got everything. And right here, I can't even tell you what I was thinking. I really don't know. Uh, I almost never make those kinds of errors. <laughs> and he just takes it back for an easy 91-yard uh, scoop and score. So that's nothing... Uh, no, nothing positive going at halftime on our side of the football. Really, really not a good way to end the uh, the first half. So he's very much in this game. We do get ball at halftime, but I'm sure that's an energy booster uh, on his side. If I'm him right now, you know, knowing that I'm only down uh, a touchdown, and probably lucky to be so because uh, had I not turned the football over there, I would have at least got a field goal and made it a three possession game. So that's really and and I would have got ball at half. But now we're in a position where. We're only up one possession, and we're going to half with the ball, so we still have a chance to make it two possession. But he's got some, he's got some momentum. So if he can stop us on defense, you know, it's a, he's got a great chance of making making a comeback from a two possession lead, and which in an ultimate team is not the easiest uh, feat.
feat to accomplish, but uh, obviously with five minute quarters instead of four, I believe, it's much easier. Right here, I thought I had to step on him with Blitnikov, but he wasn't quite fast enough and didn't have Andrew Luck 91, didn't quite have the arm to get there, to get the ball out there. But CJ Anderson is just a beast. Uh, Anthony Thomas right there, awesome three yards, and then he really stuffed me up. He actually had a Clay Matthews of his, of his own. And uh, I don't even think it, I'm pretty, I'm almost, I'm almost positive it wasn't like the 93, but he was making plays like all over the sport, and that was just a horrible pass. I don't really know why I threw that. Uh, usually it's open on man coverage, and that wasn't man, I don't know if that was man coverage or not, but uh, Clay Matthews jumped that route unexpectedly for me. I wasn't expecting to see that happen, and it did happen. Right here, it's the third and 18, so we're stopping him on his, uh, we're, we're making sure that he doesn't put up points. Uh, on his ensuing possession that he that we turn the football over but he is able to get the first down here we do stop the run right here for loss of four yards and uh right here he's blocking extra guys i think and uh we thank thankfully that was a huge play we were able to strip the ball loose that's a that was an enormous play because we get a sack here move him out of field goal range and we get a punt so that's fun that's excellent defense by us uh he if he had scored even a field goal there he would have been very close uh to uh tying this game up which would have been catastrophic on our part. And right here, able to hit a little uh, drag route, I believe, to uh, Jordan Matthews. Finally got his name right. Uh, finally figured out his name. And right here, I counterplayed to Denard Robinson. He was he was all out blitzing a little bit. I kind of noticed that he wasn't really on. He wasn't really expecting the counterplay out of the uh, formation that I was running out there out of the shotgun. So we were able to take advantage of that and take the two possession lead. And this is probably the most comfortable I felt all game because I feel like I can stop this guy on defense. You know, he was super effective on his first drive, but for some reason he's kind of uh, went away from that effectiveness. Some, I don't know if it's an adjustment on our part or just a lack of uh, attempts on his part of running his uh, under center offense. But uh, right here, you know, you know things are getting bad when your opponent starts kind of going for it on his own 18-yard line in the fourth quarter. And it's a 4th and 12, but right here we got an interception with, I'm not sure who that, oh, Barry Church. Okay, Barry Church is a pretty solid player if you don't have a free safety that you are like. That you like. I like a lot of height, I like hit power, you know, catching, speed, jumping, kind of the typical stuff, I guess, uh, that everybody would like for out of the safety, but he's, he kind of has everything like that for a fairly good price. Right here, you're able to hit him with the split screen, and Jonathan Stewart's got great elusiveness, so he's able to break the tackle, and we were able to kill some clock on that drive, take the three possession lead. And now things are getting, kind of getting out of hand. I believe last game, last time I played uh, D5, T7, it was close near the end. I think it was only a one possession game. But we did end up like pulling away. Uh, kind of similar to what it is, what's going on right now. Although I think we pulled away, no, about, about the same time. But uh, very kind of unlucky for D5, T7. Great pass right there. I can't believe my guys didn't uh, jump the route right there. Great, great play. And uh, he takes it down to my own 10 yard line now. He's running the football on a read option with Randall Cunningham. No, not going anywhere. But uh, yeah, I want to thank T5, T7 just for playing me in a subscriber game, you know, taking the time. Uh, it's kind of fun to just get some games in with people that have actually subscribed to your channel and that have, like, and I enjoy your videos and your content. So I want to uh, thank, T thank D5, T7 for that. Uh, really, not a. It was a pretty good game, to be honest. Uh, he was He's a great player, and I think just a couple bounces didn't go his way in the game. You know, he, he made some, some errors, obviously, uh, throwing interceptions. But uh, overall, pretty good game by my opponent, and uh, I think I played a decent game as well. I honestly actually don't think I played as good of a game as I usually do. I think I made a lot of mistakes. I gave him, I gave him a touchdown on a scoop and score, and that was just horrible. Uh, offensive execution by my part, but I think we were able, we were able to recuperate, and uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be doing uh, some more reviews uh, recently because uh, more in or in more in uh, what am I trying to say here? I'm stumbling over my words. I'm probably going to start doing reviews again because uh, I've been doing some just gameplay pure subscriber games recently and the kind of some how to stop PA end around puzzle bunch, you know, kind of those kind of videos. So I will be transitioning to more reviews, I believe. Uh, probably not many videos going on this week because I, I usually don't play the game, uh, Madden during the week. But uh, yeah, hopefully this gameplay was enjoying a subscriber game. If any other subscribers are interested, just let me know in the comment section. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video and the content. And yeah, thanks for watching.